Hey guys, it's me and I went. And I know I've been gone for almost a week. We had to drop off some kids for a mission trip in Texas. And then I came to my sister's in Florida and planned to make more videos. But what happened was my laptop fan broke. I had actually taken the laptop apart to clean it. And the fan actually, when I put it back together, was not working. So I had to uh, have some people take out a part that was jammed. Then I had to get a new fan and put it in my computer. So now that it's working again, time to make another video. And today I'm talking about the Nintendo Switch. Now the Nintendo Switch is getting an upgrade. Now those of you who have seen my other videos know that I'm not too keen on the Nintendo Switch getting an upgrade like the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X because then they'll split their user base I believe because some people will not buy the new Switch and then many games I believe will come out just for the new Switch. But they're not doing that and I'm glad. What they're doing with this upgrade is they're putting in a new Tegra chip that will cause the Switch not to be as hot so Switches won't bend as much apparently according to Review Tech USA anyway and they will also cause the battery life to last longer such as the switch battery life now is between 2.5 and 6.5 hours and this upgrade will cause the switch to be between 4.5 and 9 hours and that's a huge battery life update truth be told it doesn't matter much to me because i don't really use the switch in portable mode that often but but i'm pretty sure a lot of you do so it's pretty good for people who use the switch in portable mode a lot because 4.5 hours being the minimum, that's a pretty good amount of time. So it is good to see Nintendo is upgrading the Switch. And it's good also for me to see that they're not upgrading it like the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro. I just think that right now, they do not need to split their user base. Because if they make a more powerful Switch, a lot of AAA companies, I believe, will be like, yeah, we're only making games for that Switch, not for the old Switch. And that kind of would be a slap in the face, in, in my opinion, to a lot of people who bought the old Switch. But what do you guys think about this upgrade? Are you guys looking forward to that more battery life? Or maybe your Switch is not bending as much because it's probably going to be cooler? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.